the uh, pressure on the health system right now is because these viruses may be synchronized in terms of the timing, and that's that's what's pus pushing uh, the pressure on the health system as well. As Canadian hospitals hit and in some cases exceed capacity, Canada's chief public health officer says we're seeing above seasonal numbers for both influenza and RSV, as well as COVID numbers that have yet to truly go down. COVID is you know, peaking and may have plateaus and may be coming down in certain areas of the country. RSV had made an early start and is increasing and still at a high level. Influenza is just beginning and just accelerating. So there's a dynamic interplay with these viruses. And uh, we actually don't fully understand these dynamics when they are occurring together. This comes as Canadians cope with persistent shortages of both over-the-counter and prescription cold and flu medications, as well as the antibiotic amoxicillin. RSV, or respiratory, syncytial virus is believed to be the driver behind the current wave of juvenile hospitalization, with lab positivity results above what's normally seen during this time of year. Well, we're certainly seeing immense pressures on our children's hospitals, which are under really substantial strain, different than I've ever seen in my 20 years of pediatrics. You know, emergency department waits are through the roof. Hospitalization occupancy is, is huge. We're seeing some children's hospitals have, have to step up, you know, second ICUs. Beds are at capacity in Ontario for pediatric intensive care. Um, and this is really an issue across the country. Dr. Catherine Smart says there are many factors putting pressure on hospitals. Some adults can't be moved into long-term care and remain in hospital, while millions of Canadians don't have family doctors. Earlier this week, all of Canada's health ministers met in Vancouver to discuss health care, a conference that ended with premiers demanding a meeting with the prime minister before anything could move forward. Smart says regardless of who, someone needs to stop playing politics and resolve to fix Canadian health care. What matters here is that Canadians get health care. The government in our country has made a decision that health care will be delivered exclusively by the government. So they also then have a responsibility to ensure that that care is reaching Canadians. And right now they're failing at that. And they're, you know, the lack of willingness, I think, to come together to solve this problem is deeply concerning because who's paying the price? Average Canadians who cannot get access for themselves or the people they love. In Ottawa, Shaolin Lee, City News.